Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this quick video on ways that you can spice up and maybe change your cat-cow backstretch. I already have a video on the more traditional cat-cow backstretch which I'll leave a link to down below but this is going to be for anyone that just wants to kind of add a few tweaks, maybe spice things up a little um, so I'm going to give you some options. If you do like this video, make sure you hit the like button and if you'd like to see more from me, make sure you click that subscribe button as well. Okay, so cat cow. So traditionally we have the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. But a way that I like to change it is to take your hands wider and take your knees wider, maybe even as wide as your mat. And just take a moment to notice how that feels. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, look up might find you get a little more space in the tummy and the chest area. And then as you exhale round. Nice, so just take a couple like that. Notice how that little tweak changes your experience of your cat cow. Okay, so option two, we're gonna be in the more traditional setup. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. But this time, as you inhale, you're gonna pick one knee off, lift, the head, almost like your big toe is reaching for the head. Look up as if you're trying to look for that toe. And then as you exhale, round knee to nose. So it's a little bit more spicy, this one. And just make sure that you do both your left and your right sides. But it's a nice way just to add a little bit of spice, a little bit of fire to your cat cow. The next variation, the setup is kind of similar, but then we're gonna take the arms off to the side. So make sure you do both sides. You're gonna walk your hands over to the right. Maybe your right hand is in line with your right knee for some of us. And then just notice how that feels. So as you inhale, drop your belly, look up. And as you exhale, round. You might find that some areas of the body feel a little more open here and other areas feel a little more restricted. And make sure you do both left and right sides. Okay, so the next variation is standing. I like to take my feet maybe as wide as the mat, bend the knees, and then you're gonna bring your hands onto your knees like so. So resting your upper body weight into your hands. Inhale, tip your tailbone up, lift your chest. Find that cow stretch. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under chin to chest. So like a standing cat cow. And again, it just might add a little something, a little difference to try in your practice. Always good to try new things. You might like it, you might not. <laughs> and the final one is gonna be a seated cat cow stretch. So your feet are gonna be grounded hands onto the thighs. As you inhale, you're gonna draw the arms back, lean the chest forwards, and then as you exhale, round it back, so chin to chest. So if you struggle with this initially, I like to just rock forwards and back on my pelvis, and then the rest of the spine will kind of follow along. So as you inhale, tip the tailbone back, reach the chest up. Exhale, rolling onto the back of your pelvis, chin to chest. So there we have some cat-cow back stretches to try, just to change it up a little bit. If you would like to see more videos like this, or if you have any requests at all, please do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me for this little class today, and I'll see you on another video very soon. Bye.